The U.S. Army is exploring the next evolution in battlefield dominance by considering the integration of hypersonic missiles into the High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, or HIMARS, a move that could drastically enhance the speed, range, and lethality of its already proven precision strike platform. As global threats evolve and adversaries like China and Russia push the envelope in hypersonic technology, the U.S. is racing to ensure its artillery systems remain on the cutting edge of warfare. Ahead with the development of its Blackbeard Group launch hypersonic strike missile, the U.S. Army plans to begin fielding the weapon by 2028. Developed by Castellian Corporation, the Blackbeard GL aims to deliver hypersonic strike capabilities, reaching speeds of Mach 5 while leveraging the mobility, infrastructure, and operational familiarity of existing HIMARS platforms. The goal is to create a powerful, fast-reacting, and highly mobile precision strike missile. What sets the Blackbeard GL apart is its use of advanced self-guiding technology, designed to engage both hardened and mobile threats with extreme accuracy, even in complex or denied environments. This makes it a potent option for neutralizing high-value threats on the modern battlefield. Importantly, the Blackbeard missile is being designed to fit within the modular launch pods already used by the Army's Multiple Launch Rocket System, or MLRS, family. This design allows it to be deployed from current HIMARS and M270 launchers with minimal modification, ensuring seamless integration and rapid fielding potential. By combining the speed and precision of hypersonic technology with the proven flexibility of the HIMARS platform, the U.S. Army is taking a major step toward maintaining a technological edge in long-range fires and battlefield dominance. The U.S. Army describes its upcoming Blackbeard hypersonic missile as an affordable, mass-produced weapon designed for mid-range precision, delivering approximately 80% of the performance of more advanced systems at a significantly reduced cost. The development timeline for Blackbeard includes a flight test of an air-launched version scheduled for 2026, followed by a live-fire demonstration in 2027. If all goes according to plan, the system could see operational deployment on the battlefield by 2028. The HIMARS rocket system has proven to be a game-changer in Ukraine's defense against Russian aggression, striking high-value targets with speed, accuracy, and mobility. Its ability to launch six precision-guided rockets in quick succession and rapidly reposition makes it a formidable battlefield asset. Standard HIMARS munitions can reach targets up to 80 kilometers or 50 miles away. In comparison, the system is also capable of firing a single Army Tactical Missile System, or Army TACMS missile, with a range of 300 kilometers, or approximately 186 miles. Now, the U.S. Army is preparing to enhance that capability with the integration of the Blackbeard Ground Launch hypersonic missile. This new weapon promises to extend the reach and lethality of HIMARS by delivering hypersonic speed without compromising the platform's agility and mobility. Although the exact unit cost of Blackbeard remains undisclosed, the Army has committed $25 million to support its full-scale development, marking a significant investment in the future of precision long-range fires. Why add hypersonic to HIMARS? The main benefit of integrating hypersonic missiles on HIMARS lies in combining strategic mobility with unstoppable speed and power. Current HIMARS-compatible missiles, such as Army TACMS, offer excellent range. However, hypersonics could potentially extend that range beyond 1,000 kilometers. This allows U.S. forces to strike deep behind enemy lines 
without needing to reposition or rely on air power. A hypersonic missile traveling at over 6,000 km per hour can reach its target in minutes, offering unmatched responsiveness to emerging threats, high-value enemy targets, or time-sensitive objectives. Hypersonics are notoriously difficult to detect, track, and intercept. Russian and Chinese advancements in air defense systems, like the S-400 and S-500, pose challenges to traditional munitions. Hypersonics may bypass these systems altogether. Stationary hypersonic launchers are vulnerable to detection and counter-strikes. Mounting them on HIMARS platforms provides greater survivability through shoot-and-scoot tactics, increasing operational flexibility and survivability on the modern battlefield. What happens when HIMARS fires a hypersonic missile? The battlefield implications of a HIMARS firing hypersonic missiles are profound and could redefine U.S. military strategy across all domains – land, sea, air, space, and cyber. Imagine a scenario where a hypersonic HIMARS missile is fired at a heavily fortified command bunker or enemy radar system over 1,000 kilometers away. Within five to six minutes, the target is hit without warning or effective defense. This significantly enhances the U.S. military's capability to conduct first strike or retaliatory operations in a high-threat environment. Mobile land-based hypersonic HIMARS units could support anti-ship operations, turning coastal or island-based HIMARS into temporary naval denial systems. This is particularly important in contested areas such as the South China Sea or the Baltic region. The mere presence of HIMARS with hypersonic capability in a theater like Eastern Europe or the Indo-Pacific would send a strong message to adversaries. The psychological and strategic deterrence value could help prevent escalation by increasing the risks of a quick, catastrophic retaliation. The integration of hypersonic into a HIMARS force also could shift doctrine toward multi-domain operations, or MDO, where land forces contribute directly to strategic level effects that were once the domain of air or naval forces alone. The U.S. Army's consideration of hypersonic missiles for HIMARS represents a dramatic leap forward in warfare capability, fusing mobility, precision, and speed into a single versatile system. While there are still many technical hurdles and funding challenges, these strategic advantages are hard to ignore. In the next few years, we may witness HIMARS evolve from a battlefield rocket artillery system into a mobile strategic weapon capable of striking anywhere on Earth in minutes, transforming how wars are fought, deterred or prevented altogether. The age of hypersonic HIMARS is on the horizon and the future battlefield will never be the same.